it's networking on the laptop, created an access point called Noob King with a password that only I know. So I plug it in, unplug it, walk away. Later, I come back with my laptop and I connect to that wireless network and I steal the data off their machine because now it's running wireless. See how that works? Okay, let's take it, let's take it a step further. You guys remember the phishing attack that I showed before? How the person had to put something into their web browser. Well, that meant that somebody had to type it into their web browser or click on an email. Let's use this little device to make it a little more tricky. Let's make phishing even more of a problem. Here's a phishing demonstration. Again, we plug it in. We run a command shell again, and this is all happening automatically. Put a few commands in there, and what we've done is we've changed google.com to a different place. So now when they type google.com, they go to my website, which of course could have been that phishing website. And again, I'm, cho I'm choosing to show you the commands. I don't have to have anything on the screen. Let's, let me show you the most evil example, all right? Same setup. We plug the thing in, very easy. Again, we run a command shell. It's typing away like crazy. I can make it type even faster, by the way. Types all these things in very fast. And what it's doing is behind the scenes, it's actually typing in commands that will create a file on this computer that will do something. All of this is computer code. It's creating an executable file which runs silently. Okay? Doesn't look like anything happened. I've chosen to show you the screens, right? Now, what I do is I take that USB out, I hand it to you, I say, oh, look at these pictures. You put it in, oh, I can't see any pictures. Oh, sorry, it must be broken. I go home. Now, I go home and I sit down at my computer and I type in a command because now that computer is trying to reach me across the internet. I sit down at my computer, I type in a command that says, let's see who's connecting to me. And I get a command prompt on that person's computer. I can look at all their files, I can delete whatever I want. Right now I'm running a command shell on their computer from across the internet. And firewalls don't help because their computer reached out to me. See how that works? A command shell, a few lines of code, very easy. So, let me give you some advice. First of all, don't use these things on any machines that you care about. There is no good solution for USB virus control. We know this. <laughs> Everybody has seen Kaspersky and McAfee and all these other things fall because of these little devices. Get out of the habit of using them on machines that you care about. How many people are afraid of these now? Yes, that's what I want to see. Everybody should be. Be very afraid. Another piece of advice, if you have computers that are available to the public, for example, if you have a computer on the counter and the USB ports are facing the customer, super glue. Fill them with super glue. Seriously. It's better than having that risk because somebody can just come up to your counter and you can't even see the back of your computer and just put this thing in there. Nothing happens, they take it out, they pull it away. And for those of you that are into the technical details, yes, you can use things like group, support, group policies on Windows to make sure no USB devices work at all. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna show, I don't know, Kyle, can you check and see if this machine is still working?